Hi, I'm going to be talking to you today about a new enhancement for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Black Volume Service, the boot volumes. Customers have grown to love the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute Service, but we have found that customers want more control and management options for their compute instance boot disks. Customers frequently ask for the ability to preserve their boot disks and for boot disks that are resilient to failures with better durability and scalability, faster instance launch performance, and improved troubleshooting capabilities. We have listened to your feedback, and we are excited to announce fully managed boot volumes. All Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute instances are now launched with boot volumes as their boot disks. Boot volumes offer you many improvements over traditional local boot disks. First and foremost, you now have the ability to preserve your boot volume and its data by keeping it when you terminate a compute instance. You can then use the preserved boot volume for new instance creation. Your boot volumes are highly durable. Like all other black volumes, the boot volumes also have multiple replicas across an availability domain, giving you peace of mind for durability of your compute instances. This also allows for compute instance scaling via boot volumes. When you terminate your instance, keep its boot volume and create a new bare metal or VM with the same or different shape. You now get blazing fast launch times. All VM Linux instances launch within a minute and VM Windows instances launch within five minutes. All your boot volumes are encrypted by default, just like all other black volumes that are stored on Oracle's secure black volume service. You now also have the ability to easily troubleshoot and repair boot disks and OS images. Having a problem with a compute instance and you suspect something is wrong with the boot disk, no worries. You can now stop the instance detach the suspect boot volume and attach it as a storage to any instance in order to troubleshoot issues with your boot disk and reattach it to your original compute instance or create a new instance from it. Now let me show you how easy it is to use and manage Oracle Cloud Infrastructure boot volumes. Let's launch an instance on the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure console. I go to the Compute tab Click on Launch Instance, give a name, select an AD and an operating system, select a shape and a virtual cloud network and a subnet. I give a host name, VM1, and I paste SSH keys over here for my instance and click on launch instance. Instance starts a provision. Now that my instance is created and running, I can see the boot volume associated with this new instance. Let's go take a look. Here the boot volume, VM1, and I can see some details about this. It's attached to my instance, VM1. Similarly, under the storage tab, I see a section called boot volumes. Under the boot volume section, I see the boot volume that I created. Note that this boot volume has been created for me automatically when I launched an instance. So when I have VM1 created, the boot volume for it is automatically created and attached to the instance. This is the system disk for this instance, VM1. When I terminate the instance, I have an option to keep that uh, boot volume for that instance. So let's terminate the instance. Here I see an option to permanently delete the attached boot volume. I unselect that and terminate the instance. By doing this, I'm preserving the boot volume associated with this instance. So I can use it for another instance creation, possibly with a different shape. Note that I created a one core VM here. When I terminate this one core VM, I can create a higher core VM, such as two or three or four core VM uh, at the end of this. 
For more information about the boot volumes feature and the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute and Block Volume Services, check out the resources below.